welcome Pisces. We're going to look at what it is that you need guidance with right now using shadow healing, cosmic reading cards, and I'll show you a Zen tarot. Alrighty, Pisces, let's get into it. Three cards for Pisces, please. Three cards for Pisces. Two. One more card for Pisces, please. Okay, we will have... Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Two fell out. One was upside down and one was facing upright. So I'm not sure which one was needed. So I want to... It has flipped over there. Was it the same one? No. One more card for Pisces, please. Okay. Let me pick that up. Okay, Pisces. The first card we have here is Mirage. Being distracted and tired only makes the way ahead seem insurmountable. Given time to rest and reassess, the direction you need to take will become clearer. The next card here is Bemused. It's one of those, I can't believe that just happened moments. Find the fun and stop shaking your head. No harm was intended. Interesting. Paralyzed is the third card here. Not being able to move forward can overwhelm and create a sense of fear but standing still can be just as frightening at least moving forward can create change hmm okay alrighty well, let's see what is going on here exactly two cards for Mirage for Pisces please being distracted and tired only makes the way ahead seem insurmountable given time to rest and reassess the direction you need to take will become clearer. So, yeah, it could be a matter, I think the thing, sorry, Pisces, I think the thing is that sometimes when there's lots to be done or there's somewhere we want to, um, a direction in which we want to go or a destiny at, at which we want to arrive, Sitting back and resting can seem a little bit like, well, it's wasting time. And if I was just doing something, I would get there quicker. But not so. Not so at all. We can be a lot more productive when we've taken the time to rest. One more card for Mirage. Thanks. Okay. Integrity. Okay. Um... It's really interesting because I feel like this here, Pisces, is actually about you being honest with yourself, okay? Um, with the resting, I feel like there's a need to go into the silence, into the stillness in order to gather yourself so that you can see things from a higher perspective. I also feel like that needs to happen so that you can connect with your higher self, okay? Because... Um, there's a chance that there's become a narrow focus um, and by taking the time to go within is going to allow you to reconnect with, uh, what is that? To reconnect with the vision and reconnect with the inspiration. Two cards for integrity for Pisces, please. Tell me more about this. One more card for Pisces for integrity. Thank you. Okay. We've got completion here. And the outsider. Really interesting here. It's sort of like Pisces, you want to um, get to your destination far too soon. 
and it could be that this is interesting because there was something I think I just remember seeing the title of your last video but I can't remember what it was about and it was about nothing is missing that was the title I think and so maybe it's still this carry on from that of feeling like a piece of the puzzle is missing but it's actually there um, it's just a matter of turning around and looking for it sometimes we look at all the wrong things oh, I don't want to say wrong that's probably not the correct way of putting it but we focus on things that don't need focusing on and it distracts us it distracts us from finding all the pieces of the puzzle that we need to complete what it is that we're actually trying to achieve and um Yeah, so I feel like it's time for you to turn around and go in another direction right now. Um, it's sort of like this thing of searching for all the pieces of the puzzle, right? And it's right in front of you. And because you're searching so hard, you keep missing it. You know how sometimes when you lose your keys and you can't find them and they're on the table, they were on the table or the bench the whole time. But because you were so frantically looking for them, you keep missing them. It's that kind of thing. Um, but not as simple as that, obviously. But the next card here is communication. And I feel like this communication is actually about you connecting in, about you using your voice, allowing yourself to speak up, allowing your truth to be told, your voice to be heard. At the moment, I feel like you, um, um, I don't know if you're squashing it or there are other people around you who are squashing it or you're just not sharing what it is that you want to share. There's a sense of not wanting to ruffle feathers for some reason. But I feel like this is going to help with your growth. It's like there's a voice inside of you that you're not listening to, that potentially you're ignoring. Two cards for communication for Pisces, please. Um, oh yeah, there we go. Consciousness and change. Hmm. Yeah. This is okay. So a couple of things are coming here through here, Pisces. It's it's about um tapping into the the consciousness. Okay, the truth of who you are for a start. But as change happens, it can feel like this big whirlwind in our life, okay? And um, and it could kind of be that maybe there's something going on for you or that has gone on for you that has created a massive change in your life. And the thing is, Pisces, that it's important to understand that, that the one thing that actually remains still and, um, and constant in your life is the con consciousness of who you truly are this higher self right the higher power and I'm just noticing here with these cards oh, look at them they're all here it's the third eye it's the third eye that is highlighted right you've got it in that card it's that card this is the missing piece of the puzzle okay not that it's really missing it's it's more so that it needs to be tapped into okay um it's highlighted here right I don't know if you can see that but it's like a light bulb actually and here okay so this is quite important for you to tap into to clear um, the third eye in order to receive the messages and open this communication to the consciousness okay to the consciousness of who you are to your higher self right and um, I feel like this is really going to help you um, put this last piece of the jigsaw into place okay um, it's going to help you to turn around and focus on what needs to be focused rather than looking at the things that aren't serving you anymore mm, very interesting here Pisces what's the next card bemused okay so Two cards for Bemused, please, for Pisces. It's one of those, 
I can't believe that just happened moments. Find the fun and stop shaking your head. No harm was intended. Could be for some of you that it wasn't as simple as that. Could have been quite a big thing. Um, but it really is looking at it from another perspective. And when we get all up in our head, right, um, we can not see things from a positive point of view or, or it's harder to brush things off. We can really take it on board, you know, and you've heard the saying water up a duck's back, right? Which sounds a lot simpler than what it can be to apply to our lives, but to get to that point, right, is, is sort of what this energy of this consciousness is, where nothing impacts it because it is fully aware of, um, it is fully conscious of the, the essence of that which resides within, right? It's almost like that's what needs to happen here. Once you're fully aware of that, those things aren't going to play on you like they once did. And if they do, you become more aware of it and go, okay, I need to tap back in here. I need to tune in with who I truly am. And when you do that, those things don't impact you like they once did. Okay, so we've had another one go flying on the floor. Let me get it. Okay, so we've got this card here, Believe. And... Um, really love this because I feel like this is this is you coming out of the shadows in a sense and believing that what it is that you want to achieve can be achieved there's some sort of doubt within you um, or some sort of fear that if you come out of the shadows your vulnerability is kind of on the chopping block, I guess. It's like you've there's the sense of feeling more exposed. Tell me more about Believed for Pisces, please. Two cards for Believed for Pisces. Tell me more about this. I also get this sense of this consciousness running through your veins, like it's everything that is in your makeup that makes you actually be who you are. That is your existence. There's this um, this need for recognition of that, okay? Um, and look at this here. Again, the highlighted third eye, right? And this is the, this is the connection that may, needs to be made. I'm noticing on the bottom here, even though I don't usually look at this, but self-worth is a massive thing here right now. Okay, and look at the light bulb on her forehead, right? Allowing yourself to have this voice here, Pisces, right? Letting yourself communicate, letting yourself speak your truth, letting the transformation happen, okay? So that you can step into who you truly are. Because right now you're holding back on that. For whatever reason. Be it fear. Be it, you know, fear of, um, of being seen. Fear of exposure. Fear of what that could do to you personally. We have success here as well. And I feel like it's a matter of rising above that because there is success to be had. Some of you are afraid of success, which may sound a little bit quirky, but it really is a thing. We, you know, you hear a lot of people are afraid of failure. But what if you succeed, Pisces? What if you actually do succeed? Are you afraid of that? Seriously ask yourself that question. Because off the bat, you'll probably say, of course I'm not. But is there something in there somewhere that you are afraid of? Maybe you're afraid of maintaining that success. Maybe you want, it's, it's a little bit like people wanting to win, um, you know, the lotto, right? They want to win the lotto, but their motto is money is the root of all evil. 
there's such a contradiction and it's the same type of thing here be very very conscious of really what is um deep seated inside of you that is holding you back okay we have mirrored souls here Two people sharing the same heart. Hmm. And also, where is it? There's the same kind of symbol here. Look at this. It's the spiral here, right? Some of you may be in two minds about something. It's really interesting because I don't usually get this message off this card. It's kind of taking a bit of a twist there's some sort of heart mind connection potentially with another soul let me look more into this because i don't want to kind of make it up right but let's have a look at this it's one of those i can't believe that just happened moments find the fun and stop shaking your head no harm was intended okay so is there someone around you that maybe you feel potentially offended by but they're in their heart of hearts they would never do that to you potentially let's have a look mirrored souls two cards for mirrored souls for pisces please tell me more about this one more card thank you okay playfulness playfulness and ripeness Yeah, look here, Pisces, have fun with what you're doing. Have fun with where you're going. Have, you know, make it an enjoyable journey because right now it's it's a burden. It's actually becoming heavy for you and it's a little bit like, oh, I really want this, but I'm not really sure I do. Um, so, or, or you just feel like it's hard work and you're kind of going, do I? Do I really want this? And I think it's important to see things from another perspective as well. Okay, so that you can kind of see that, you know, look, if someone did say something to offend you or um, there was, there was, there's something that you want to drop. Um, I just want to say... See it from another perspective, but also I want to say as far as communication goes, be transparent, okay? Be communicative uh, with what is going on for you because I feel like things are not going to be sorted out until you speak this truth, okay? And when you speak this truth, tap into the consciousness, okay? Some of you may be afraid of speaking the truth because you're afraid it's going to throw a spanner in the works and everything's going to change and you're afraid of that but what if it changed for the better what if it was a positive change you see sometimes we get in our minds right it's unusual for you to get in your mind and you're really good you can be really good at having fun and kind of, it's like putting those rose-coloured glasses on, yeah? But um, not to the point where you're in denial about anything, but I think there needs to be this upliftment of the energy of whatever is going on for you here, okay? The next card we have here, Pisces is paralysed. So two cards for paralysed for Pisces, please. Not being able to move forward can overwhelm and create a sense of fear, but... Standing still can be just as frightening. At least moving forward can create change. Is it creating the change that you're afraid of though? This is the thing. Nice. We've got this card pop out here, but let me get the second one first. One more. Excellent. Landed on the table. We're doing well. We're doing well. Okay, so celebration here look at this beautiful flower that has blossomed from the seed being planted here yeah um thought there was something else that i saw 
there's a seed being planted but I mustn't have but anyhow um it's looking at what you can create looking at what you can grow here Pisces rather than being afraid of it yeah um Yeah, two cards for celebration. Celebrating what it is that you can have rather than turning away from the your fears. Okay, um, because I really think maybe those are getting in the way right now. So let's have a look here. Flowering. I love it. Look at this flowering. Celebrate the flowering. Celebrate the potential flowering. Okay, even if it's not flowering yet. But with this completion card, there could be something that is coming to um, an end, right? There could be a change that is happening, but it doesn't have to be a negative change. You can see the beauty in, in it. You can see the um, the joy of it, right? You have success here, so celebrate the success. Okay, it may be that something is changing, um, but it doesn't have to be negative here, Pisces. It can be a positive change. So allow that to happen. Not only that, but whatever seed that you have planted, nurture it. Nurture it with the positivity, with the love, with the gentleness, with the caring that it deserves, okay, so that it can flourish to its full potential because there is something amazing here that is growing and um and it needs your attention it needs your input because it can't grow on its own okay can't it can't go out and get the water in the summertime it needs you to water it and by doing that you actually do that for yourself as well without you even realizing it, I think. Yeah. But you're fighting it. Right now, you're fighting it. You're putting on this armor and going, God, I don't want to do that because maybe things have changed. Maybe things have taken a different direction from what you initially intended. And you're a bit paralyzed by that because it's like... <gasps> Holy macaroni. But standing still is not going to help. It's and, and, and the thing is that standing still is not going to allow your evolution to take place. And this is what is most important here, is your evolution. Standing still, I say, and then the next card is be still. <laughs> Um, but this is being still going within, right? Because here, all this here around this person here is all, this is the chaos. This is the chaos, right? This is the chaos around the change. But within here is this consciousness, right? So this is the stillness that it's talking about. Go within and be still within. So that your emotions don't overpower you and take over. Okay, because I think that that is, um, is actually what may be happening here. So two cards for be still, for Pisces, please tell me more about this. Two cards. Yep, that's the one. Thank you. One more card for Pisces, for be still. Okay, we've got three. They landed on the table, so I'm very grateful for that. Right, so the first card we have here is moment to moment, we have experiencing, and we have inner voice. Ah, oh, Pisces, I love, love, love this. Taking everything moment by moment, right, being in the present. This is very important for you right now, Pisces. You need to bring yourself, center yourself, and be in the present moment with each step that you take, so that each direction, uh, sorry, each step um, and the direction that you're headed towards is actually experienced. It's not just um, done by default, okay? And um, and this is definitely going to help you to grow. And also, it's going to help you um, be more conscious of what it is that you are creating along the way. Because as you take each step, you evolve. And as you evolve, 
what it is that you're creating is naturally going to evolve as well. And there may be things that you're creating by taking each step which need to evolve, which needs to be uh, evolved, uh, sorry, which needs to evolve by being nurtured. And that is the only way for it to be, to evolve, right? That was really hard to get out. It's, the thing is, Pisces, I can see it in my mind and I'm trying to put words to what I can see and, and that can be really difficult so forgive me bear with me <laughs> okay and I just love that this inner voice has come out here because this is this you know what I've been talking about with the third eye and everything this is part of this this is part of this vision it's the vision but also tapping in and using the inner voice to guide you being in the stillness to allow the inner voice to speak right to allow the inner voice to communicate because I feel as though it's been silenced for far too long now and in order for that to happen the mind needs to be put at rest so it's kind of like putting a pause on the mind to allow the inner voice to rise up and speak and have its voice yeah and as you do that, what it is that you will grow, it's going to evolve into something that is successful, and yeah, we're celebrating, you know. Worth celebrating. You know, so stop fighting it. Stop fighting it, Pisces, because... Yeah. This is the fight. It's like trying to open a gate that can't be opened anymore. It's locked. It's chained. You can't open it. So turn around, Pisces, and go in another direction. It's time now. It's time to go in another direction. Okay. I'm going to leave that with you, Pisces. Please take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.